Hi Nancy and Mark, uh, it's Doug here. Uh, nice to see you. i uh, just uh, going to give you a little information on the fountain. I've decided to uh, um, ship the fountain to, so it can be assembled. It's, uh, it's too high for regular FedEx uh, shipping and uh, so it's in two pieces. So you have this side as you can see, the base, base section, and then there's this piece that goes on top of the base section. Now I'm just going to show you how to how to put the pump on first, and then we'll assemble this. Um, I know you're probably saying, "Oh no, he he didn't tell us it was going to have to be assembled," uh, but I ran into a restriction on the on the shipping. First of all, we have the pump here. Just for your info, this is the uh, the filter. You guys know you always want to keep that clean. There's a little union here, so you can take the pump off easily. And it's that easy to install. Snug it up with some vice grips or something. I use the old vice grip. You sort of gotta love it. There we go. And I'll just tuck this cord away for you. If you ever need pump parts, just read the uh, the info on the back of the pump here. See if you can see it. Right here, it tells you, it gives you the information. It is a Danner Model 7. That's 700 gallons an hour. Uh, it, it's a great pump. It really is. A couple of things I'm going to go over with you before I start putting it together. This valve here. You can see that. Yep, it, it's an on and off valve. Um, it, it is a, a bypass valve, so uh, the pump pumps water right up to the top. If the top is overflowing and splashing around, you open this valve a little bit, and that'll slow the water to the to the top of the fountain. So here I'm installing the top section. Here it is. The wheels involved. This uh, tube that you can see here is um, the line that feeds the wheel with water. So that line we're going to feed in through here. It attaches down there, and there is a union in here. I'll give you a close-up of all this. Just wiggle it around a bit, the union will catch. There we go. Just leave it a bit loose. And then this one lines up nicely. I know these, uh, these kind of fittings seem kind of scary, but it works. And that is a 15 millimeter nut. Nope. 
<laughs> Not very good at this, I guess. That is a 16mm uh, nut. So just snug it up. When you're uh, snugging things up on the fountain, they don't have to be terribly tight. They're not under a, a lot of water pressure. Just snug, just like that. There we go. That's all put together. This one's already been tightened at the shop. So that is tightening up the nut. So there's the nut there, in there, that's the water feed. I put a red flag here where, the, uh, where you feed this line in through the French horn. Here's the wheel, here's the tube where the water comes out to strike the wheel. Sometimes that's a bit out of place. Now next we just snug this uh, this nut up a little bit with some pliers and that's that section put together. I've also uh, left these um, finials I guess off. You can just place them on like that. I'm going to send you some glue to glue them down. When we get the proper glass for it um, you'll just be able to pull it off and, and add the glass to it. This piece is uh, um, the top of the fountain. It fits into the into the trombone. You drop it in like that and give it a turn and it threads in just to this tube. In the winter time, like up there right now, and I'm sure you have it too, um, I, I would pull this out just like that and it'll drain this part of the trombone down through the bottom. So um, that's that part. Okay, here we are. We're having a look at the fountain. There is where you feed the tube through. We covered that. At the bottom of this horn, that one, there's a spinning ball going to go in there. I'll just go get it. It's not far away. There we are. That, uh, that ball will spin when you start it up. Um, they're a bit finicky, but, uh, but they do work. So um, that horn is a mellophone. Uh, it's a nice ride. There's a control. If you just follow the, the horn down to here, there's a control for that spinning ball. And it should be set. It should work good uh, just where it's set. But it's a, just a little ball valve. And uh, you probably know if you, you just uh, give it a little more or a little less. Uh, what I often would do is I give the ball a spin like that and, and start controlling with this if necessary. There is also in there somewhere a control for the water that feeds the wheel. And I'll see if I can find that for you. I'm sure I can. It's in here. You approach it from the back and uh, you can just follow it down from that nut and there is the control for the wheel right there. I love this fountain. It, it, uh, it's turned out remarkably well. I'm sure you're going to like it. It's going to give you many years of service. Um, if you have any problems with it, of course, you can phone me and I can just walk you through it. So I think, I think that's about it. When I edit this video down, if there's something missing, I'll get it. Um, I'm sorry the fountain's a little bit late. I just got jammed up on so many things uh, that uh, needed to be done and uh, I guess that's just how it goes. Um, I look forward to seeing you both at the Flower and Garden Show if you can make it. Um, I'll send you an email as well but uh, we've got some promo tickets that we can give away. If so if you uh, feel like coming just let me know 
know and uh, we'll uh, make sure there's some tickets waiting for you in an envelope at will call. Um, that's it. You can call me anytime you want uh, in regards to the fountain. I hope the weather clears up by the time it gets down there so that you can enjoy the fountain uh, for Christmas. Um, thanks so much. Bye-bye.